Hi, this is Elizabeth from the Visible Futures Lab. I'll be showing you how to use Mesh Mixer, which is a free mesh editing software. Today I'm going to show you how to do some basic edits on a 3D model in Mesh Mixer. I'm using Mesh Mixer on a Mac. From the file menu or the start screen, select import and choose a mesh file, or import one of the default shapes that Mesh Mixer provides. We'll be using tools in select mode. These allow you to edit specific parts of your mesh. Select works like a paintbrush. You can change the size with this slider and click and drag on your mesh. Selected triangles will turn orange. To deselect triangles, hold down shift and paint over them. Mesh Mixer has some good shortcuts to make selecting easier. You can expand and contract the selection with the keyboard shortcuts shift comma and shift period. To select the entire mesh, double click any triangle on the surface. You can also clear the selection with this button. To select a loop of triangles around a hole, like the bottom of this bunny, set the brush size to zero and turn on show wireframe. This makes it a lot easier. And double click any triangle that touches the edge of the hole. This is really useful later for making repairs to meshes. Once you've selected your triangles, you can choose any option from the four menus at the top of the toolbar. There are a lot of options here, so I'm going to show the most commonly used ones in the Edit menu. Erase and Fill and Discard are useful for removing unwanted data. Erase and Fill removes the triangles and replaces them with a smooth patch, so a closed mesh will stay closed. Discard simply deletes them and creates a hole. Reduce and Remesh both change the triangle density of the selected area. Remesh increases the triangle count by subdividing existing faces. Reduce lowers the triangle count. You can use this slider to adjust the parameters, but make sure that your triangles don't get too large or distorted. Extrude, Extract, and Offset are another group of similar functions. Extract makes a copy of the selected triangles and moves it away from the mesh. Extrude and Offset can both take an open mesh like this floating patch of triangles and turn it into a closed one. I'm going to change the thickness, press Accept, and you can see this is now a solid body. So that's a really useful feature. Offset is pretty similar to extrude. You'll see that it doesn't have parallel walls, so the shape and the overall effect are a little bit different. Finally, there are some tools for repairing holes and meshes manually. One method is to select two groups of faces around a hole not the entire loop of faces, and then use the bridge command. This creates a smooth patch, and it doesn't completely fill the hole, but it creates smaller holes that are easy to fill with automatic repair. Another option, again setting the brush size to zero and using that trick from earlier, is selecting the loop of faces around a hole and using erase and fill, which is going to fill the whole area with a smooth patch. There are some other tools like join and weld boundaries, but I found they're not as reliable, so I would recommend erase and fill or an automatic repair that we'll cover in another video.